Hey guys, Scrumpy here with another episode of Long Haul. So this is taking place right after the previous episode. Uh, we stopped on our core world and we stopped in the bar. Uh, it was really cool. We got offered a mission to deliver uh, 3,000 units of food to Sindria. So uh, what we're going to do is first stop by Scothi, uh, sell off the Alpha Core, then go to Sconia, drop off the food, check the bars in both of those, see, see if there's another mission. And then head to Nakara and grab our um, grab our contacts updated uh, missions. So let's head over to Stathi uh, and see what we can get. So the last episode was very good for us. Uh, we found a ton of resources. Oh, at some point we also need to swing by Salamanca to sell off um, the heavy armaments and heavy machinery. They have some shortages going on. I'm not exactly sure what's what's happening there, but we can at least fill it for them. All right, so uh, by the end of this episode, we should have about a million credits. All of our debt should be paid off. And uh, we should be able to uh, continue developing our colonies. So, yes. Begins with turning our Alpha Core. We can take a loan. Uh, it's gonna cost us 100,000 credits. I think that's a bit steep. Uh, we don't necessarily need that. Let's swing by Razvig, see if we can find anything good. Nope. Uh, there's Marines. No, there's no shortage of Marines where we need to be. Also, oops. Heavy machinery is uh, definitely outlawed here. So let's go ahead and get out of here. We're really not doing a good job of keeping contraband out of market. Uh, if we got inspected, they would definitely be able to, to snag that from us. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and sell this off. Nice comfy profit. And now... You want to get transferred to Gilead? We're not really heading that way. So let's head over to Esconia. And go to Sindria. Yeah, they would definitely confiscate our goods. And there would be nothing we could do about it. So let's not do that. It's a little far out the way. You, you can't make it up. More pirate activity in the system in the system we're about to jump into right, hopefully we can make it there safely I guess that was to pay our debt off but that was a lot. We need Roddy to be become profitable very quickly. This is killing me. You got a stockpile of 100 units of luxury goods on Volturn. We'll accept it because it's right here. And hopefully this leads to a contact. Let's head over to Kruer because it's right next to us. 
see what they have. And then let's figure out why Ra is so unprofitable. No. Oh, pirate raids. Considering how many pirates we fight, it's probably where they're coming from, honestly. Yeah, let's head over to Nordia. Hostile activity is high. Pirate base in the bell system. Technology and AI core use. So nothing particularly interesting here. Let's go talk to our contacts, see what they have on offer. And then we'll carry on. So with about 500k, um, we can actually go ahead and build up. Uh, actually, I think we should colonize the last planet in our system and then from there we can build up um, we can start to build up like a dedicated pirate world or sorry patrol world to fight off pirates We'll jump in behind these convoys. Yep. And, uh, yeah, we'll just head on over. Surplus metals. No, we don't need that. Just platonic ore. Uh, yes, we can absolutely do that. Uh, we can get cheap crew here, right? Yes, we sure can. Uh, so let's buy crew in anticipation of settling our final world. Do you, by any chance, do you have a, uh, you do have a nebula. Crew capacity is 400. Yeah, for 24k, we'll buy it. And then let's do... Uh, not expand the cargo holds, but... Birthing? Additional birthing. There we go. That's better. Right. Oh, that's the bell system. I knew it was close. So maybe we should have accepted that mission. Dang pirates. Set over here to Scrimshaw, settle it, and then let's build a patrol HQ. Uh, we need heavy machinery, which, guess what? We have plenty of that. I 
life just doesn't end. All right. Uh, we have more than enough crew actually to settle this. Oh. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the Legion because we're going to need it to fight that pirate fleet. Actually, you know what? We're, we're bringing the whole gang. Alright. We're deleting that pirate fleet that's down there. Uh, I guess close enough. You know what? Let's use some of our more exotic missiles that we got. I don't know what these do, but they look interesting at least. Well, the dragon fire does. Uh, we don't want pylums. I mean, we can do it just like back with reapers. Again, I think two Cyclones would be better, but we just can't... I, well, we absolutely could, I just don't want to... Uh, I don't want to have an asymmetrical ship. Sorry. Uh, these dual flax, we can swap out. The two heavy molars. And then in the smalls here, we can just dot it with like... Uh, we're gonna build in heavy armor. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just dot it with a mix of Vulcan cannons and light machine guns. For me, uh, back to what we had before, which was one heavy auto cannon, one uh, heavy mortar. Uh, this is way too flux hungry. We do eye pulsers. I'm still very flux hungry. Um, not, not very happy with this design. It's because these weapons are so just flux inefficient. They do an arbalist, but that's even worse. Two light machine guns. Screw it. All 
All right, let's fly around and uh, settle that world, and then we'll go fight that pirate fleet. Okay. So this one we will name... Name this one set. And the purpose of set will be to be the biggest, baddest, scariest, um world you have ever seen as soon as we get that um as soon as we get this spaceport done we're gonna build it up to a uh to a patrol hq we're gonna add that in all right now it's just so ridiculous all right, thankfully those two weren't close enough. Um, I didn't really consider that. But this should be good. Um, at the very least, we're going to get a ton of really good weapons from it. So let's move into Engage. Uh, the focus is going to be getting the Eradicators off the battlefield as quickly as possible. And then uh, working our way down the rest of the fleet. Uh, we do want to keep our ships contained. I pretty much want to keep everything centered on the Legion. And then, oh, I didn't even check. Oh, uh, I didn't check flux dissipation versus uh, how much flux we generate. I hope it's good enough. I, I think I balanced it properly. But anyway, we're going to keep everything focused around the Legion pretty much and allow it to pick off ships as they approach. All right. Um... I don't have an officer in the Legion, which is horrible. I have inf I have oh, mm, this mistakes were made, but this sh should be okay. So we will want to deploy everybody. Um, we will drop an enforcer or a monitor. And I think we want to just grab the comm relay and then just have everybody sit on it. We'll send the monitor off on its own so I can go find the rest of the fleet. And then we'll start dividing our forces appropriately. Yeah, I think, I think what I did was build in heavy armor and then, um, and I think I balanced the flux on the Legion. Yes. All right. So here's the enemy fleet. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and grab our pair of eradicators. We'll put those in group two, or we'll put those in group three. Put these eradicators in group four. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. The monitor. I'm going to tell it to go ahead and engage that. Group three. Group three is also going to get an enforcer. And group four is also going to get its own enforcer. Now, I want group three to go ahead and engage that eradicator. Group four, I want to engage that eradicator. The monitor, I'm actually going to tell it to engage the Falcon so it can waste some of those um, missiles that the Falcon has. And then. As far as like the Legion goes, I'm just going to have it be supported by both ventures and then sit on search and destroy. Well, maybe not search and destroy, maybe have it support that engage. So this way, the uh, 
the Legion should be shielded on its sides by the Ventures. Should be. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how everything goes. Uh, just make sure everyone's in position. We'll deal with this Venture. Or we'll, we'll deal with this um, Vanguard. As well as this Hound. And then we'll join up with the rest of the fleet. Legion was like, no, I got it. Don't worry about it. Alright, we'll deal with this hound. Okay. How's our monitor doing? Our monitor is doing just fine. Um, I honestly was not expecting the enemy fleet to be split so hard. So what we're going to do is just give it that engage command. Um, we're going to ignore this hound and go ahead and jump in on this. Because if we can kill one of these eradicators, then that's just going to make this so much easier. So if we all get in on this, then we should uh, be able to... Eliminate it. I'm going to upgrade this to an eliminate command. And we are running extremely tight on... Yeah, you're doing okay. We are running extremely tight on um, command points. But I think it's worth dealing with this. Our monitor was destroyed. That's unfortunate. Nice. So we got rid of one of the uh, eradicators. Now, uh, what we're going to do is, while we can, we're going to upgrade this to an eliminate order. And I think just dogpile it, um, same way we did before. I think it's going to work out here because we have it flanked on both sides, so it shouldn't be able to evade us so much. And then after that, we want, um, after that, we want to go after the, uh, the supports. So we... We do have to keep an eye here. So instead of committing this venture to the eliminate, I'm actually gonna, yeah. Instead of committing this one to the eliminate, I'm gonna actually just put it back on escort so it can just watch this flank. Cause otherwise I'm pretty sure the Falcon would come up and, and uh, detonate it. Should retreat off the battlefield. We at least have an opportunity now to go ahead and deal some damage here. Alright, if we can get the eradicator to stop backing up. If we can get the eradicator to stop backing up, then we actually should be able to uh, destroy it. Nope. 
Ok. Uh, we're gonna lose that venture. Why is this eradicator so fast? Um. All right, we're gonna see if we can lure. We're gonna use ourselves as bait. We're not supposed to be doing this. We're gonna see if we can use ourselves as bait, lure the eradicator back in, and then just allow us allow the rest of the fleet to uh, to dog pile it. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and pivot some of these ships off and see if we can't save the venture. It's, it's probably too late for that venture. Uh, we can have this venture go delete that. Nope. Venture got deleted. Oh, come on. Whatever. I thought I would be able to shield in time, but that's okay. Losses is down. Condor is down. Let's bring everybody back in. Uh, you guys can go ahead and deal with that. No, never mind. We're good. So let's just full assault. And uh, we should be fine here. Little, uh, little disappointed here. Um, I don't really know why we lost the monitor. But uh, we win the fight regardless. Just coin bake or anything else. And uh, we should have paid attention. We wouldn't have lost the venture otherwise. Yes, but we'll recover both. And we get harpoons, which is really nice for us. You can go and recover everything. And then let's get away from that so that we can repair and then go back in and fight it's a nice bit of scrap okay And now let's pay attention here. Uh, same strategy. Did the same. Why didn't I assign officers? Anyway, same strategy. Keep the fleet together. Uh, if they do separate, then jump on that. But otherwise, uh, we're looking just to get rid of as many small ships as possible. And they have a lot of officers. Uh, you can tell because we weren't able to deploy as many ships as last time. Mm -hmm. Let's take the comm relay. Just sit up front.
Man, I am I am so tired of pirates. I cannot wait until this patrol HQ is built up. Now, this won't stop them, but at least we'll have more patrol fleets flying around. Alright. Bring in everybody else. Uh, looks like the majority of the fleet's over here, so... You know what? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll just keep a single defend order. I think that'll actually work out well for us. Uh, I'm gonna take everybody and I'm just gonna tell them babysit the Legion don't move off the Legion like you should not be that far forward let's go right to that ship the legion goes the rest of our fleet should stay by we do it we have an absolute advantage uh, they're not going to be able to deal with us backline hey uh, do you want to move up to the front so that we can like actually not lose our legion just just a thought just a thought Hey, thank you. Yikes. <laughs> the hell is that? they have our frigates full assault we try to execute a simple plan and then my entire back lines like or my entire fleet is like oh yeah we'll just let the legion go forward defend uh, never heard of her. Anyway, the Radicator wins that engagement. Sh should win that engagement. Good job. Let's go ahead and get rid of this Colossus for us. Good job.
Alright, that should be it. That was that was ridiculous. Um yeah, I really saw the entire fight capsizing if we didn't do that. Just like I really wish, and I understand why there's not, but I really wish you could just draw a line and that would be where your ships just stayed. All right. So we will absolutely pursue them. We'll let our second in command handle it. Yeah, we'll let our second in command handle it and uh, we'll just deploy some of our faster ships. Uh, we get another pirate eradicator. I don't know. I don't know if we need a fifth one. I think we can always take it, I guess. No, 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 no. We do not want all that. Uh, but we will absolutely accept these weapons. Thank you. Another squall is really nice to see. As well as some piranhas. Go ahead, drop that off. Let's go drop you off. Let's uh, let's put officers actually where they belong. Darn, I was really hoping you would get uh. I was really hoping you get ordnance expertise. That's fine. Yep, there you go. All right, let's borrow a handful of crew. Like, what are you, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> uh, let's... I mean, we have our comm relay up. I don't know. But I'm going to call the episode here. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to tackle hostile activity. Uh, but we will figure it out eventually. And uh, we will deal with this. Um, for right now, let's wait until... Nice, thank you. Oh yeah, we need to we need to move raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the meantime, let's wait uh, six days so that we can build the uh, patrol HQ. I'm. I don't know. I know. I know the patrol HQ will reduce the pirate activity, like the hostile activity. It won't bring it down to zero. All right. But uh, it'll it'll help. So let's build a patrol HQ. We'll build it. But like, this is insane. I, I do not know how you're supposed to deal with this. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, just more colony maintenance, I guess, pirate maintenance, cleaning up. Um, but yeah, other than that, copy out.